Book One of Troilus and Cressida. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Kevin Johnson. Troilus and Cressida by Geoffrey Chaucer. Book One. Book One. Incipit Liber Primus. The Dubla Sorwa of Troilus to tell him that was the king Priamus soon of Troy, in loving how his aventures fallen, for woe to Wela and after out of joy, my purpose is, ere that ye part from ye, Tesiphone, thou help me for tendit, these a woeful verse that weepen as ye read. To thee clay pa e, thou goddess of torment, thou cruel fury, sorrowing ever in pain help me that am the sorrowful instrument that helpeth lovers as he can to plain for well seat it the soth afore to sain a woeful week to han a dreary fair and to a sorrowful tala a sorry chair for e the god of lovers servants serve ne dar to love for mean unlikeliness Prayin' for spade, all shall thee therefore starve. So fair am I from his help in darkness. But natheless, if this may doon gladness to any lover and his cause avail, have he me thank, and mean be this travail. But ye lovers that bathen in gladness, if any drop of pity in yow bay, remembereth yow on passed heaviness that ye hand felt and on the adversity of other folk and thinketh how that ye han felt that lova durst yow displaza or ye han wona him with too great an aza and prayeth for him that been in the cas of troilus as ye may after hera that lova him bring in heaven to salas and eke for me prayeth to god so dare that ye have meeked to show in so many switch pain and woe as lovers folks endure in troilus un sely aventure and biddeth eke for him that been despaired in love that never nil recovered be and eke for him that falsely been appeared thorough wicked tongues be it he or she thus biddeth god for his benignity so grant him son out of this world to pass that been despaired out of lovers grassa on beadeth eke for him that been at aza that god him grant a good perseverance and send a him meek to her ladies so to plays that it to love be worship and plaisance for so hope ye me soul best of aunts to pray for him that lovers servants be and reet her woe and leave in charity and for to have of him compassion as though he were her own brother dare now hearkeneth with a good intention for now will i gone straight to my mater in which she may the double sore was here of troilus in loving of Criseda, and how that she forsook him ere she did it is well wist how that the greek is strong in arms with a thousand ships went to Troya words, and the city long a sagaden, nay, ten year ere they stent, and in diverse wees and unentanta, the ravishing to reckon of Elaine, by Paris dune they rockten all through pain. Now feel it so, that in the town there was dwelling a lord of great octority, a great divine, that clapid was Calchas that in seance so expert was that he knew well that troy shoulder destroyed bay by answer of his god that hicta thus down phoebus or apollo delphicus so when this calchas knew by calculing and eke by answer of this apollo that gracus should in switch a papla bring through which that troya most a been for do he cast a noon out of the town to go, for well wist to he by sort that Troya shoulder destroyed bane, yea, would whoso nolde. 
for which for to depart and softly took purpose for this fork knowing wiesa and to the greatest host full privily he stole anon and they in curtes wees him daden both worship and service in truth that he hath corning him to raid in every peril which that is to dread the noise uprose when it was first espied through all the town and generally was spoken that calchas traitor fled was and alied with him of grace and cast into bane broken on him that falsely had his faith so broken and satan he and all his keen at warners been worthy for to brennan fell in bonus now had a calchas left in this mischance all unweast of this false and wicked data his doctor which that was in great penance for of her leaf she was full sore and dread as she that niesta what was base to raid for both a widowa was she and alone of any friend to whom she durst her moan crusader was this lady nime areeked as to me doma in all troyes cite nas noon so far her passing every week so angelique was her native beauty that leek a thing immortal same it she as doth an heavenish perfect creature that down were sent in scorning of nature this lady which that all day heard at air her father's shame his falseness and treason well meek out of her wheat for sorwa and fair in widowa's habit large of samet brown on knees she fill before an actor down with pitas voice and tenderly weeping his mercy bad her selvin excusing now was this actor pitaus of nature and saw that she was sorrowfully begun and that she was so fair a creature of his goodness he gladed her anon and said let your father's treason goon forth with mischance and ye yourself in joy dwelleth with us will ye good least in troy and all thonur that men may do in yauhava as fair forth as your father dwelled here ye shall han and your body shall men sava as fair as ye may oct in queer or hair and she him thanked with full humble cheer and ofter wolde and it had a been his wheela and took her leave and whom and held her stila and in her house she abode with sweet mene as to her honour neda was to hold and while she was dwelling in that city kept to her estate and both of young and old full well beloved and well men of her told but whether that she children had or known i read it knocked therefore he let it gone the thing is felon as they doon of wera betwixt in him of troy and greek as oft for some day brocked in they of troy at dera and eft the greek is found in no thing softer the folk of troy and thus fortune on lofta and under eft gan him to wailen both after her course i will they were both but how this town come to destruction ne falleth not to purpose me to tell for it were a long digression from my matera and yow to long a dweller but the troyan agestas as they fell in omer or in dares or in dita who so that can may read a him as they read but thok that the greek is him of troy shaitan and her city besaged all about her older usage would they not laden as for to honour her goddess a full devout but all their most in honour out of doubt they had a relic heaked palladion that was her triest above an every john and so befell one common was the tema of april when clothed is the maida with newa grain of lusty ver the prima and swota smellen flowers wheat and raida in sundry wieses showed as he raida the folk of troia her observances older palladionis feste for to hold unto the templa in all her base de in general there went a many a week 
to Hawknen of Palladion Servisa, Anomaly, so many a Lucy kneeked, so many a laddie fresh and maiden breeked, full well arrayed both the most and laista, yea, both for the season and the feista. Among these other folk was Crusader, in widower's habit black, but neither lace, reeked as our first letter is now an A, in Beaute first so stood she, Makelis, her goodly looking gladade all the praise, nays never same thing to bain praise a dare, nor under cloud a black so breeked a stair, as was Crusader, as folk say every chon, that her be helden in her black awada, and yet she stood for low and still alone, behind in other folk in lethal breda, and nay the door, a under shamas dreda, simpla of a tear, and debonair of chera, with full assured loking and manera. This Troilus, as he was wont to gida, his younger knictes, lada him up and down, in thilka large templa, on every cedar, beholding I the laddies of the town. Now here, now there, for no devotion had a hay to known, to raven him his resta, but gone to praise and lock and whom him laista. And in his walk full fast he gone to waiten, if kneeked or square, of his company, gone for to seek, or late his iron baiten, on any woman that he could espee, he will the smila and holden it folly, and say him thus, God watch she sleepeth softer, for love of thee, when thou tornest full ofter. Ye have her told pardu of your living, ye lovers, and your lewd observances, and which a labour full can in winning of love, and in the caping which doubtances, and when your prey is lost, woe and penances. O oh, very fallous, niece and lean de beye, there nis not un can war by other bay. And with that word he gone cast up the brow, a sconces. Lo, is this knocked weasley spoken, at which the god of love gan lok and row, reeked for dispeat, and shoot for to be roken, he kid known his bow was not broken, for suddenly he hit him at the fola, and yet as proud a peacock can he pull up. O blinde world, O blinde intention, how oft falleth all the effect contraire of surquidri and foul presumption, for cocked is proud and cocked is debonair, this Troilus is clomen on the stair, and lethal winneth that he moot descendin, but all day falleth thing that falleth ne wendin. As proud Bayard ginneth for to skipa, out of the way so pricketh him his corn, till he a lash have of the long a weepa. Then thinketh he, thok ye prance all beforn, first in the tries, full fat and new ashorn, yet am ye but an orse, an orse's law. I moot endure, and with me fairest draw. So fared it by this fairest and proud knicked, though he a worthy king is son aware, and when the nothing had a had switch meeked, a yence's will that showed his heart a stare, yet with a look his heart wax a fair, that he that now was most in preed above, wax suddenly most subject unto love. For the ensemble taketh of this man, yea, we a proud and worthy folk is all, to scorn in love which that so soon a can, the freedom of your heart is to him thralla. For ever it was, and ever it shall be falla, that love is he that all thing may be de, for may no man fordo the law of kinda. That this be sooth hath praved and doth yet, for this through a yaw knowen, alla or soma. Men raiden not that folk han greater wet than they that han be most with love ye noma, and strangest folk being therewith overcoma, the worthiest and greatest of degree. This was, and is, and yet men shall it see. And through a lick it sit well to be so, for elder weasest, hand therewith been plazed, 
and they that han been altered most in woe with love han been conforted most in azed and oft it hath the cruel heart apazed and worthy for command worthier of narma and causeth most to draden vis and shama now sith it may not godly be with stonda and is a thing so virtuous in kinda refuseth not to love for to be bonda sin as himself enlist he may ya binda the yard is bait that bowen wool and weanda than that that braced and therefore i ya reda to follow in him that so well can ya reda but for to tell and forth in special as of this kingis son of which he told a, and late in other thing collateral of him think a, i metala for to hold a, both of his joy and of his care is called a, and all his work as touching this matter for e it gone he wore the to refer a. within a, the temple he went him forth playing a, this troilus of every week about a, on this laddie and now on that looking whereso she were of town or of without and upon cas befell that thurug arout his eye a perisid and so deep it went till on crusader it smote and there it stent and certainly he walks there with a stoned and gone her bit behold in thrifty weeza o oh, mercy god thought he where hast thou woned that art so fair and goodly to devisa there with his heart a gone to spread and reza and soft a seek it lest men make to him hair and cocked a yain his first playing chair she nas not with the lace of her stature but all her limbs so well answering wherein to womanhood that creature was never loss a mannish in singing and eke the pure wisa of her meaning showed well that men meeked in her gaze honour estate and womanly noblesse to troilus reeked wonder well with allah gan for to leek her meaning and her chera which some del danus was for she leet fall her look a lita sida in switch manner a sconces what may he not stand in here and after that her looking gone she leaked a, that never thought to him seen so good a seekta and of her look in him there gone to quicken so great desire and sweet affection that in his heart a botma gan to steeken of her his fix and deep impression and though he erst had a porrid up and down he was though glad his harness into shrinka Onathus wiste he how to look or wink. Lo, he that laid himself in so conning, and scorned him that love his pain as drian, was full on war that love had his dwelling within a the subtil streams of her yain, that suddenly him thought that he felt the din, reeked with her look, the spirit in his heart, blessed be love, that thus can folk convert she this in block leaking to troilus over all a thing he stood for to behold nay his desire nay wherefore he stood thus he neither chair a mad nay word a told but from a fair his manner for to hold on other thing his look some team he cast and eft on her will that service last and after this not full each all a wapid out of the temple all Asilich he went, repenting him that he had ever eaped of lovers folk, laced fully the descent of scorn fill on himself. But what he meant, lest it were wist of any manner sida, his woe he gone dissimulen and hida. When he was fro the temple thus departed, he straked a noon unto his palace torneth, reeked with her look thurug shorten and thurug darted all feigneth he and loosed that he so yearneth and all his chair and spacha also he borneth and a of lovers servants every wheela himself to re at him he gan to smila and said lord so ye leave all in laced ye lovers 
for the corningest of yow that serveth most intentive leech and best him did as often harm thereof as prow your hearer is quite again yea god wot how knocked well for well but scorn for good service in faith your order is ruled in good visa in non certain been all your observances but it a silly few pointers be nay nothing asketh so great attendances as doth your lay and that kno all ye but that is not the worst as moti thee but told thee yow the worst a point i leva i said ye sooth ye wolden at me grave but talk this that your lovers oft de shewa or ellis doon of good intention for oft thy lady will it misconstrue and deem it harm in her opinion and yet if she for other and chase on be ruth then shalt thou han a groin anon lord well is him that may be of your own but for all this one that he say his team he held his peace no other bow to him gained for lover began his feather so to lima that well uneath unto his folk he feigned that other busy nades him distrained for woe was him that what to doon he neest but bade his folk to goon where that him laced and one that he in chambra was alone he doon upon his bedder's feet him sat and first he gan to seek and eft to groan and thoked i on her so withouten later that as he sat and woke his spirit mate that he her saw a templar and all the weeza reeked of her loca and gan it new a visa thus gan he mark a mirror of his minda in which he saw all holy her figure and that he well could in his heart a finda it was to him a reeked good aventure to love switch wound and if he did his cure to serve in hair yet meet he fall in grassa or else for un of her servants passa imagining that travail nor grama ne meekta for so goodly un be lon eshe ne him for his desire ne sharma all were it least but in priest and upborn of all lovers well more than before thus argumented he in his ginning full unavised of his woe coming thus took he purpose love his craft to sue and thought he would welkin privily first to heeden his desire in mew from every week de born all outwardly but he make oft recovered be there be remembering him that love to weed ye blow felt bitter fruit thok sweet a seed be so and over all these yet much or more he thought what for to spake and what to holden in and what to arten here to love he sought and on a song anon rick to begin and gan loud on his sorrow for to win for with good hope he gan fully assent crusader for to love and not repent and of his song knocked only the sentence as writ mean author called lolulius but plainly saw what tongue is difference he dare well sain in all that troilus said in his song lo every word reeked thus as he shall sain and whoso least it hear lo next this verus he may it find in here cantus troilu if no love is o god what fairly so and if love is what thing and which is he if love be good from whence cometh my woe if it be wicked a wonder thinketh me when every torment and adversity that cometh of him may to me savoury think for i thirst e the more that e it drink and if that at me own loose de brenna for when is cometh me wailing and me plaint if harm agree me where to plain e then e nut ne we unwary that he faint o quicker death 
O sweet harm so quaint, How many of they in me switch quantite, But if that e consenta that it be, And if that e consenta e wrongfully complain, E wis, thus posed to and fro, All steriless, within a boot em e, Amid the say, by twix and windes two, That in contrary stond in ever mo, Alas, what is this wonder melody, For hate of cold, for cold of hatey day? And to the God of love does say to he, With piteous voice, O Lord, now yours is my spirit, Which that oft yours bay, Ya thank ye, Lord, that harm me brock to this, But whether goddess or woman ye wis, She be ye not, which that ye do me sarva, but as for man a wool I leave and starve. Ye stonten in here e'en mictily, as in a place unto your virtue digne. Wherefore, Lord, if my service or e may leak a yow, so beth to me be nigne, for mean a start royal here e resigna into her hand, and with full humble cheer become her man, as to my lady dare. In him ne deined sparen blood royal, the fear of love, wherefro God me blessa, ne him forbar in no degree, for all his virtue or his excellent prowessa, but held him as his thrall, low in distressa, and brende him so in sundry wees I knew, that sixty team a day he lost his hue. So much it died by die, his own thought, for loose to hear, gan quicken and encrease, that every other charge he set at knocked, for thee full oft his hot fear to cease, to seen her goodly look he gan to praise, for there be to been as it well he wende, and a the ne'er he was, the more he brenda. For I the ne'er the fear, the hotter ease, this trow he knoweth all this company, but where he fair or near, he dare say this, by nicht or day, for wisdom or folly, his heart, which that is his breast as yea, was I on her, that fairer was to sane than ever were Alain or Polixene. Eat of the die that passeth not an hour, that to himself a thousand team he said, Good, goodly, to whom serve ye and labor, as ye best can, now wold ye God, Crusader, ye wolden on me row ere that he day, my dear a heart, alas, mean hela and hewa, and leaf is lost, but ye wold on me rowa. All the other dreades wherein from him fled, both of the assage and his salvation, Nay in him desir noon other faunas breda, but argumentas to his conclusion, that she on him wold han compassion, and he to be her man, will he may dure. Lo, hear his leaf, and from the death his cure. The sharpa showers fell of Armas Preva, that Hector or his other brethren deeden, Ne mar him only therefore unis meva, and yet was he, where so men went to Oraden, found a un the besta, and lengus team a beaten, their peril was, and did eke such travail, in armes, that to thank it was marvail. But for non he to he to the Greek is hada, ne also for the rescus of the town, ne made him thus in armes for to mada, but only lo, for this conclusion, to leak in hair, they bet for his renown. For day to day in armies so he spada, that all the great is, as the death him dreda. And for this forth though ref to him love his slapa, and matter his mate his foo, and ache his sorwa gan multiply, that whoso toka keep, it showed in his hue, both ave and morwa. Therefore a titla he gan him for to borrow, of other sicknessa, lest of him men wenda, that the hot fear of love him brenda. And seda he had a favour and fair demis, but how it was certain, 
can I not say, if that his laddie understood not this, or feigned here she nist, un of the tway, but well he rade of that, by no manner way, ne samed it as, that she of him rauked, nor of his pain, or whatsoever he thought. But then fell to this Troilus such woe, that he was well nigh quod, for I his dreda was this, that she some weak had loved so, that never of him she would have taken heeda, for which a him thought he felt his heart a blade, nay of his woe nay durst he not begin to tell in it, for all this world to win. But wana he had a spas fro his care, thus to himself, for oft he gone to plain, he said, O fool, now art thou in the snare, that willum yapidest at love's pain. Now art thou hent, now knaw thine own chain. Thou were I want each lover reprehenda, of thing for which thou canst be not defenda. What will now every lover sane of thee, if this be weast, but ever in thine absence, loch and in scorn and sane, lo, there goeth he, that is the man of so great sapience, that heldest lovers least in reverence. Now thank it be God, he may goon in the dance, of him that love least fably for to avance. But, O thou woeful Troilus, God worlda, send thou most loven thurk the destiny, that thou be set where on switch un that shoulder, know all the woe, all lacked her pity, but also cold in love toward as they, thy lady is, as frost in winter mona, and thou for doon, as snow in fear is soon. God wold ye were a reaved in the port of death, to which my sore will me lada, ah, Lord, to me it were a great comfort, and were ye quit of languishing in dreda. For be me in heed a sore will ye blow on breda, ye shall be ye aped bane a thousand teema, more than that fool of whose folly men reema. But now help God, and ye sweeter for whom I plain, ye cocked ye never weet so fast. O oh, mercy, dear heart, and help me from the deed, for ye will that me leave me lost, more than myself will love yow to me lost. And with some friendly look ladeth me sweeter, though never more thing ye may be hater. This word, as and full many an other toe he spake, and called ever in his complaint, her nama, for to tell and hear his woe, till nech that he in salt a terrors drained. All was for knocked, she heard and knocked his plaint, and one that he bethought on that folly, a thousandfold his woe gan multiply. Bewailing in his charm brothers alone, a friend of his that called it was Pandara, come unis in own war, and heard him groan, and say his friend in switch distress and cara, Alas, quod he, who causeth all this far? O oh, mercy God, what unhap may this mena? And now the son grek is mad yaulena? Or hast thou some remorse of conscience, and art now fall in some devotion? and wailest for thy sin and thine offence, and hast for fared cocked attrition. God save him that besaged Han our town, and so can lay our loyalty on praise, and bring our lusty folk to holiness. These words say to he for the nun is all, that with switch thing he meeked him angry mocking, and with an angry dawn his sorrow fall. As for the team, and his courage awaken, but well he wist, as fair as tongue is specken, the a man of greater hardiness than he, may more desired worthiness. What cause, quod Troilus, or what aventure hath guided thee to see me languishing, that am refuse of every creature? But for the love of God, at me praying, go hen away, for certes is my dying. Will they disease, and aim out neither's day? Therefore go away, there is no more to say. 
but if thou win e be the sick for breda it is not so and therefore scorn knocked there is another thing e talk of heda well more than oct the great gishani wrought which calls ease of me death for sorwa and thought but thok that i now tell of thee in thy laste be tho knocked ruth e heed it for thee baste this pandora that naig mouth for woe and routh full often said alas what may this be now friend quod he if ever love or trouth hath been or is betwixt in thee and me nay do thou never switch a cruelty to heed a fro thee friend so great a cara wost thou not well that it am e pandara he will parton with thee all thee pain if it be so we do thee no comfort as it is friend is reeked so for to sane to enter a part in woe as glad they sport ye have and shall for true or false report in a wrong and reeked ye loved thee all me leave hid not thy woe from me but tell it believe then gone the sorrowful troilus to seek and said him thus god lave it be my best to tell it day for sith it may thee leak yet will he tell it dog mean heart braced and well wot e thou mayst do me no rest but lest thou deign it truce not to thee now hark na friend for thus it start with me love against the which whoso defendeth himself in most him all the least availeth with despair so sorrowfully me offendeth that straight unto the death mean heart saileth there to desire so brenningly me assaileth that to be slain it were a greater joy to me than king of grace being and troy sufficeth this me full friend pandara that ye have said for now woe stole my woe and for the love of god me called the cara so hid it well ye tell it never to mow for harm is meek to following more than two if it were least but be thou in gladness and let me starve and know of me distress how hast thou thus unkindly and longer hid this from me thou fool quod pandarus parantur thou meekt after switch un longer that mean a visa noon may help in us this were a wonder thing quod troilus for thou couldst never in love thy selven visa how devil mayest thou bring in me to please yea troilus now harka quod pandare though i be nice it happeth oft so that only excess doth full evil fare by good counsel can keep his friend therefro ye have meself eke seen a blind man go there as he fell that could look weeder a fool may eke a wise man of the gida a wet stun is no curving instrument and yet it marketh sharper curving toilers and there thou wouldst that ye have oct miswent ye show thou that for which thing to thy school is thus oft we a men been war by fallis if thou do so thy wit is well be warded by his contrary is everything declared for how meeked ever sweetness a have be noah to him that never tasted bitterness a nay no man may be in the glad he trow that never was in sorwa or some distressa eek wheat by black be shame eek worthiness ek set be other more for other sameth as men may say and so the wees it dameth sith those of two contraries is a lore ye that have in love so oft assayed grievances oct a corner and well the more counsel in thee of that thou art a maid eke thee ne oct not being evil appeared though ye desire with thee for to bear thine heavy charge it shall the law sadera ye would well that it fareth thus be me as to the brother paris and herdes which that ye clape it was oenoni wrought in a complaint of her heaviness ye say the latra that she wrote ye gasa nay never yet ye wis quod troilus now quod pandare harkneth it was thus 
Phoebus that first found art of medicine, quod she, and could in every victus cara remedy and raid, by herbes he knew fina, yet to himself his conning was fobara, for love had a him so bounden in a snara, all for the doctor of the king admete, that all his craft ne could his sorrow abete. Reeked so far e unhappily from me, e love un best, and that me smarteth sore, and yet parantur can ye raid a they, and not meself reprave me no more. Ye have no cause, ye wot well for to sore, as doth an awk that listeth for to play, but to thine help yet somewhat can ye say. And oof o thing reeked seeker mayst thou be, that certain for to deen in the pain, that he shall never mo discover in they, nay, be me trouth, ye keep not restrain, they, fro they love, thok that it were Elaine, that is thy brother's weave, if ik it weest, be what she be, and love her as they least. Therefore as friend folik in me assure, and tell me plot, what is thine enchason, and final cause of woe that ye endure, for doubteth no thing mean intention, nis knock to yow of reprehension, to speak as now, for no weak may be reva a man to love, till that him list to leva. And weeteth well that both two ben vices, mistrust in all or else all a leva, but will he wot, the main of it no vice is, for to trust in some weak is a prave of troth and for thee woe thee fain remove thy wrong consait, and do thee some weak triste, thy woe to tell, and tell me if thee least. The Weeza saith, woe him that is alone, for, and he fall, he hath known help to reza, and sith thou hast a fellow, tell thy mona, for this nis not certain, the next Weeza to win in love, as teachin us the Weeza, to wallow and weep as nigh will be the queen, whose terrors yet in marble be me seen. Lot be thee weeping and thee dreary nessa, and let us listen woe with other spacha, so may thee woeful team sing malesa, they leap not in woe thy woe to satcha, as doing this foils that here sorwa's age with sorwa, when they han misaventure, and listen knocked to satcha hem other cure. Men saying, to Rachel is consolation, to have another fellow in his pain. That oct well being our opinion, for both a thou and e of love we plain, so full of sorrow in e, soft for to sing, that certain lay no more hard a grassa may sit on me, for why there is no spas. If God will thou art not aghast of me, lest I will of thy lady thee be gila. Thou wost thyself whom that I love par thee, as he best can goon sithen long wheela, and sith thou wost I do it for no weel, and sith I am he that thou tristeth most, tell me somewhat, sin all my woe thou wost. Yet Troilus for all these no word said, but long he lay as still as he did were, and after this with seeking he abraid, and to Pandarus' voice he lent his air, and up his iron cast he, that in fair was Pandarus, lest that in frenzy he should the fall, or else soon a dee. And creed, awak, for wonderly and sharpa, what, slumberest thou as in a lethargy? Or art thou leek an ass to the arp that heareth sound, one man the strangest ply? But in this mean of that no melody may sink in him to glada, for that he so dull is of his bestiality. And with that, Pandora of his word is stanta, and Troilus yet him no word answered. For why to tell has not his entanta, to never know man, for whom that he so ferda? For it is said, man marketh oft a yard with which the mocker is himself ye baiten in sundry manner, as these a wees a threaten, anomaly in his counsel telling, that toucheth love that octa be secree. For of himself it will be knocked out springa, 
but if that it the bet governed be, ache some team it is craft to same a flea, for thing which in effect men haunt a fast, all this gone troyless in his heart a cast. But now the lease, when he had heard him cree, a whack, he gan to seek wonder sore, and said, Friend, folk that ye still be, ye not deef, now peace, and cree no more, for ye have heard thy word as Andy lore, but suffer me my mischief to bewail, for thy proverbs may me knock the veil. Nor other cure canst thou noon for me, ik e no not be cured, I will thee. What know I of the queen I obey? Let be thee all on samples, e they pray. No, quod thou, Pandarus, therefore e say, sweet is delete of foals to be weep her woe, but second bout of they keep. Now know ye that their reason in they faileth, but tell me, if ye wist that she were, for whom that thee all this misanter aileth, durstest thou that ye told her in her air thee woe, sith thou darest not thyself for fair, and her be socked on thee to handsome routh? Why nay, quoth he, by God and by my troth? What? Not as busily, quod Pandarus, as though mine own leaf lay on the snade. Nay, so tis, brother, quod this Troilus, and we. For that thou shouldest never spade, wost thou that well? Yea, that is out of dreda, quod Troilus, for all that ever ye cone, she nil to noon switch wretcha as ye be wona. Quod Pandarus, alas, but may this be? that thou despaired art, loose causalis. What, liveth not thy lady? Benedicte. How wost thou so that thou art grassalis? Switch evil is not alwi botalis. Why? But not impossible, loose the cura, since thing to come is oft in aventura. Ye grant well that thou endurest woe, as sharp as doth he, Tychius in Ella, whose stomach fowls tear an evermore, that heaked vulturis as Bocus Tella. But he may not endure that thou dwell in so unskilful an opinion that of the woe is no curation. But owns nil thou for thy coward heart, and for thine ear and foolish wilfulness, for one thrust telling of thy sorrow is smart nay to thine own help to busyness, as much as spake a raisin more or less, but least as he that least of no thing rake, but woman could love switch a rake. What may she deem an order of thee deeth, if thou dost thee, and she not we it is, but that for fair is olden up thee breathe, for grecus and besiegedos ye wees. Lord, which I thank, then shalt thou han of these. Thus will she saying, and all the town at one is, The wretched is deed, the devil have his bonus. Thou mayst alone hear weep and cree and knela, but love a woman that she woted knocked, and she will quita that thou shalt not fail her, unknowa, unkeased, and lost that is unsocked. What? Many a man hath love for dearie balked, Twenty winter that his laddie wista, That never yet his laddie moth he kista. What should be therefore fallen in despair, Or be recrowned for his own tain, Or slain himself, or be his laddie fair? Nay, nay, but ever in own be fresh and green, To serve and love his dear heart as queen. And think it is a gourdon here to serve, a thousandfold more than he can deserve. Of that word took heed, Troilus, and thought anon what folly he was in, and how that sooth him said, Pandarus, that for to slain himself maked he not win, but both doon on manhood and a scene, and of his day his lady not to weet, for of his woe God woot. She knew for Lita, and with that thought he gan for sore seek, and said, Alas, what is me best to do? To whom Pandara answered, If thee leak, 
the best is that thou tell me thy woo, and have my trout, but thou it fiendest so, ye be thy boat, or that it be for longer, two paces do me draw, and sith in harm. Yea, so thou sayest, quoth Troilus, though, alas, but God wot, it is not the rather so, for hard were it to help in this cause, for well fiend ye that fortune is my foe, may all the men that read in corner go, may of her cruel wheel the harm of stonda, for, as her least, she playeth with free and bond. Quoth Pandarus, Then blamest thou fortune, for thou art ruth, Yea, now at erst I see, wouldst thou not well that fortune is commune to every man and weak in some degree? And yet thou hast this comfort, lo, pardie, that as her joys moten over goon, so mote her sorrows pass in every tune. For if her wheel stint anything to torn, then saith she fortune anon to be. Now, sith her wheel by no way may so yawn, but wast thou, if here mutability, wreaked as thyself in list, will doon by thee, or that she be not fair fro thee in helping, perantur, thou hast cause for to sing. And therefore wost thou but ye be beseech, let be thy woe and turning to the ground, for whoso list have helping of his leech, to him behoveth first on re his wound, to Kerberus in hell. I be a boon, were it for my suster, all thy sorwa. By my will, she shall all be thine to morwa. Loka up, he say, and tell me what she is, a noon, that he may goon about thy maid, knowa each her oct. For me, love, tell me this, then will thee hop and rather for to spade Though gone the vein of Troilus to blade for he was heat and wax all raid for shame. Aha, quoth Pandari, here beginneth Gama. And with that word he gan him for to Shaka, and said, Thief, thou shalt her name Tala. But thou gan sailly Troilus for to quake, as though men should hand laid him into hell, and said, Alas, of all me woe the wella, then is my sweet foe called Crusader and well meeked with the word for fair he did. And one that pondered heard her name Nevene, Lord, he was glad, and said, Friend, so dear, now for thee reeked, for love is now in heaven, love hath he set thee well, be of good cheer, for of good nam and wisdom and maner she hath he noch, and eke of gentlesse, if she be fair, thou wouldst thyself he gasse. Nay, he never saw a more bounteous of her estat, nay a gladder, nay of speech a friendlier, nay a more gracious for to do well, nay lass a had a nay to sage, but for to doon, and all this bait to age, in honour, to as far as she may stretch, a king's heart sameth by his a wretch. And for thee look of good comfort thou be, for certainly the first point is this, of nobler courage and well ordained, a man to have peace with himself he wis. So oughtest thou, for naught but good it is to love and well, and in a worthy place, the ought not to clap it harp, but grass. And also think, and therewith glad are thee, that sith thy lady virtuous is all, so followeth it that there is some pity among us all these other in general, and for thy see that thou, in special, require a noct that is again her name, for virtue stretcheth not himself to sham. But well is may that ever that he was born, that thou be set art in so good a place, for by me truth, in love he durst have sworn, be sure never hand teed those fair a grass, and woe still we, for thou were wont to chase at love and scorn, and for dispute him call, Saint idiot, lord of these foils all, how often hast thou mad the nice apes, and said that love is servants every john of nicete being very goddess apes, and summer world moncha her mate alone, ligging a beda, and make him for to groan, 
and some thou saidest had a blanche favour, and praidest God he should never caver. And some of him talk on him, for they called a, more than he knocked, so saidest thou full ofta, and some hen feigned of team and told a, how that they walk a, when they sleep in softa, and thus they wold and brought himself aloft, a, and nay the lease were under at the last, a, thus saidest thou, and yepidest for fasta. Yet saidest thou, that for the more part a, these lovers wold and spake in general, and thoughten that it was a secret art for failing, for to a saying over all, now may he yape of thee, if that he shall, but nay the least, doch that he shall the day, that thou art noon of thou, that durst he say. Now beat thy breast, and say to God of love, thy grace, Lord, for now he may repent it, if he miss back, for now myself he love, thus say with all thine heart in good intent, who told us, ah, Lord, he me consanta, and pray to thee me yape as thou forgive, and ye shall never more will ye leave. Thou sayest well, quoth Pandara, and now we hope that thou the goddess wrath hast all appeased, and see them thou hast wapen many a drought, and said switch thing wherewith thy god is pleased. Now wold never a god but thou wert aised, and think well, she of whom wrist all thy woe, hereafter may thy comfort be also. For thilk a ground that beareth the weed is weak, beareth eke these wholesome herbes, as full oft, next the foul nettle, rocked and thick, the rose waxeth, sweet and smooth and soft. And next the valley is the hill aloft, and next the dark sneaked, the glade morwa, and also yoy is next the fiend of sorwa. Now look at that, a tempera be thy bridle, and for the best, a suffra to the tida, or else all our labor is on idle. He hasteth well that Weasley can abide. Be diligent and throw, and a will heed. Be loosely free, persevere in the service, and all is well if thou work in this wheeze. But he that parted is in every place, is nowhere whole as written clark as wheeze. What wonder is, though which one have no grass, equal stow how it fareth of some service, as plant a tray or herb in sundry wheeze, and on the morrow pull it up as believe, no wonder is, though it may never thrive. And sith that God of love hath thee bestowed, in plastic knee unto thee worthiness, stand fast, for to good port hast thou rowed, and of thee self, for any heaviness, hope our way well, for but if dreariness, or over hast, or both labor shenda, ye hope of this to make in a good end. And wost thou we, ye am the last afeared of this matter, with my niece a traitor? For this have ye heard said of wheezy lered, was never man nor woman yet beget, that was unap to suffer and love as hate. Celestial or Alice love of kind, for thee some grace ye hope in her to find. And for to spake of her in special, her beauty, to be thinking and her youth, it sit her knock to be celestial, as yet, though that her least both in coath, but throwly, it sate her well wicked north, a worthy knick to loven and cherise, and what she do, ye hold it for a beast. Wherefore ye am and will be, I ready to pain me to do yow the service, for both the yow to plays thus will be, hereafter world, for ye bathe both the weasa, and corn it counsel cape and switch a weasa, that no man shall the weaser of it be, and so we may be gladded all a three. And be my trout, ye have reeked now of thee, a good conceit in my wheat, as I guess. And what it is, I will now that thou say, I think, sith that love of his goodness hath thee converted out of wickedness, that thou shalt be the best of post labour, of all his lay, and most his foes to grave. On sample we, see now these wees a clerkes, 
that Erin aldermost again a law, and being converted from her wicked workers, through grace of God, they list him to him draw. Then on they folk that han most God in awe, and strangest faith at bane, e understand, and con an error all the best withstand. When Troilus had heard Pandara assented to bane his help in loving of Cresseda, wax of his woe, as who saith untormented, but hotter wax his love, and thus he said, with sober cheer, although his heart played. Now please for Venus helpa, ere that he starva, of thee, Pandara, he may some thank deserve. But, dear friend, how shall mean woe be lesser, till this be done? And Goda, it tell me this, how wilt thou sing of me and me distressa, lest she be wroth, this trading most ewesa, or nil not hear or trowen how it is, all this trade e, and eke for the manner of thee, her e'en, she nil no switch thing here. Quod Pandarus, thou hast a full great cara, lest that the churl may fall out of the moan. We, Lord, ye hata of the thee safara, we entre mat, of that thou hast to don, for God is love, he bidded thee a bone. So laugh me alone, and it shall be thy best. Why, friend, quod he, now do reap as thy least. But hark a pandera, O word for in older, that thou and may wendest so great folly, that to me lady it is e'er in shoulder that toucheth harm or any villainy. For dread less may were ye of thee, than she of me oct Alice understand, but that, that maked sonin into God. And thou lock this pandare, and a noon answered, And e thy boar, fee, no weak doth but so, e rauch nacht thou, that she stood and heard, how that thou sayest, but farewell, e will go. Adieu, be glad, God spade us both the two. Yet me this labour and this busyness, and of me spade be thine all that sweetness. Though Troilus gan down on knees to fall, and Pandara in his arm is hent a fast, and said, Now fee on the Greek is all, yet pardee, God shall help us at the last, and dread Elise, if that me leaf may last, and God to form. Lo, some of him shall smart, and yet me a thinketh, that this avaunt me a start. But now, Pandora, ye can no more say, but thou wees, thou woest, thou mayst, thou art all. My leaf, me death, cool in bond ye lay. Help now, quod he. Yes, by my troth ye shall. God yield thee, friend, and this in special, quod Troilus, that thou me recommend to her that to thee deeth may make command. This Pantherus, though desirous to serve his full friend, then said in this manner, Farewell, and thank I will thy thank deserve. Have here my troth, and that thou shalt well hear. And went his way, thinking on this matter, and how he best meeked her beseech of grass, and fiend a team thereto and a plas. For every wheat that hath an ouse to found, Nay renneth not the work for to begin with brackle hand, but he will be the stand, and send his heart as lean, out full within, alter first his purpose for to win. All this Pandera in his heart thought, and cast his work for weasley, or he rocked. But Troilus lay thou no linger down, but up anon up on his stayed a bay, and in the field he played the lion. Woe was that Greek that with him made that day, and in the town his manner though forth I, so goodly was, and get him so in grass, that ate him loved that looked on his face. For he become the friendliest weak, the gentlest, and eke the most afraid, the thriftiest and own the base to kneeked, that in his team a was, or meek to bay, and data were his japes and his cruelty his hay port and his manner is strange, and each of though gone for a virtue charge. Now let us stint of Troilus astound, 
that fareth like a man that hurt his sore, and is some del of aching of his wound elicit well, but haled no del more, and as an easy patient the lore a bit of him that goeth about his cure, and thus he driveth forth his aventure. Explicate Liber Primus End of Book One Recording by Kevin Johnson